cancer. It has touched all of us. In fact, recent studies have shown, the uh, latest one here in Britain, that almost 50% of us have a chance of having this terrible disease in our lifetime. Think about it. One of the people sitting next to you will probably get this terrible disease. We at Intel have a vision that by 2020, all in a day will be enabled, meaning we will enable real precision medicine in one day. A patient will be able to come to his clinician, to his doctor, and get real personalized medicine based on his sequence data, his image analysis, all in one day, and that's our call to the industry to enable that. At the heart of all of that is the technology that actually enables that to happen. So if there's 50% chance of us having cancer, it obviously generates lots and lots of data, right? So what is holding us back from fighting this terrible disease? Well, it turns out that only 4% of the data is actually accessible for research. The rest of the 96% of the data is stored in different silos in different institutes that are seeking, uh, sequencing and doing image analysis and, cl and clinical treatment for their patients. And there's two main reasons why this data is locked in those silos. One, the data is just too big. Um, According to the American Association for Cancer Research, in 2015 only, in the US only, there are going to be 1.65 million new cancer patients. If we sequence all of these patients, we get to four exabytes of data. That's only the US, only 2015. The data is just too big to start moving around for each researcher to do his analysis. Secondly, the data is protected. The, da the institutes want to keep control over the data and not share all the data in one location. The reasons for that are, um, are mainly three. One is different laws and regulations. The other one is they w the data is privacy, right? Genomics data is the most private data there is. And IP, they want to keep the data available for themselves only. So we have to find a new paradigm to enable this collaborative analytics, to enable them to share the data between them, but still maintain ownership over the data. So there needs to be a new paradigm. So our first step towards helping in this effort is building a federated analytics platform. So we've built a platform where each data owner stores the data locally in his own site under his own ownership and can control and do joint analysis with other institutes on each of the data. Meaning you can think about this as a giant map reduce, where you send a function, you send a map function to the different site institutes, they all do some analysis, and you retrieve back to the user the result aggregated, and then you can find new insights over a mass amount of data. That works great for some algorithms, Unfortunately, some algorithms need all the data to be co-located. You have to have, for example, um, if you want to calculate a median, you have to have all the numbers available for you to find the median of a set of numbers. In order to do those algorithms, we've developed a security capability that enables each institute to send out a subset of the data to a third party, to other uh, institutes, and do joint analysis on their data, but the data is encrypted and available only for a pre-approved application, meaning no third party, no system administrator can actually access the data except for the application that was pre-approved. We're also accelerating the workloads, making sure they work best on the hardware and working with best-in-class analytics providers. And we're also enabling new database technologies to enable genomics to run at scale. So um, we have this up and running with three major institutes in North America. They used to have only their own data uh, accessible for them, but now they can tap into additional data sets from each other and do joint analytics between them and find new insights when they have 
much bigger data. They can see the long tail of, of the cancer treatments and, and, and find new treatments for this disease. This paradigm is not unique for this domain. This could be um, used in any other domain where you have multiple data owners that want to keep their data locked in but, and, and controlled, but want to do some collaborative analytics. Um, lastly, this is not a US or um, North America problem. This is a global problem, and we envision more and more institutes joining this collaboration and working together in order to find a cure for this terrible disease. So um, thank you very much, and if you want to hear more, uh, you can come in to my detailed session or meet me at the booth. Thank you very much.